Guess what we doing today? Valentine's Day is quickly approaching, so it is time to make another Valentine's Day themed dog treat. If you want to see some of the other Valentine's Day treats we've done, I will put some links up in the cards and down in the video description below. You can check those out after this video. Today, we are actually going to make what everybody wants for Valentine's Day, which is chocolate only. Now, don't forget, dogs can't have chocolate, so what are we going to use, everybody? Let's say it together. Carob. Not chocolate. Carob. <laughs> so we are going to make some peanut butter filled candies for dogs. We are going to use some carob chips and melt them. You can also use these candy melts. You can either get the ones with color in them or you can get the white ones and then put your own like natural colorings in it depending on what you want to do. Again, these are just a treat. It's not something your dog should be having all the time. So I went ahead and just grabbed a couple different colors and then this is my carob chips. I will put some Amazon affiliate links to some of those things down in the video description below as well. I also have my new, the dogs got me this for Christmas, my little melter for candy. Gonna need some peanut butter. These boxes actually have real chocolate in them. They're not, they're not for the dogs. I bought the boxes so Jamie and I could eat the chocolates and then we could use the boxes to put the dog chocolates in. I thought that would be kind of cute. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get this started. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Click that bell to turn on all notifications so you can be notified whenever we put up fun new videos. Let's get to it. All right, are you ready? Look at, see, it looks just like chocolate chips, but it's not chocolate. It's carob, 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 carob. Do you want this? Do you want it? What are you waiting for? Shelby's like, mm, I don't think I want that. You weird dog. I hope she likes these treats because she doesn't seem to want that. She's like, I'm out guys, I'm out. <laughs> anyway, we are going to take probably about a cup, here's the carob chips that I have, probably about a cup of those carob chips and put them in the melter. You can also melt them in the microwave or in a double boiler or any other way that you would normally melt any type of meltable candies. All right, I have the candy in the melting pot, the melting pot. I'm going to do a few of these as carob and then I'm also going to do a few of them as these little candy melts. Now these candy melts, for those of you that are wondering, make sure you always check them, but these do not have any cocoa in them. They do have like sugar and milk and things like that in it, but they have no cocoa in them. You could also use yogurt melting discs, but I have a really hard time finding them when they're not super expensive and I don't have anywhere locally that we can get them from. So I always just end up using these. Again, it's just a treat. They're not getting it all the time. And then the two trays I have, I have this one here that actually looks like little Reese's peanut butter cups almost. And then I also have this really cool one with some decorative little decorative little hearts. Now we just gotta wait for this stuff to melt. Well, this thing here is a total game changer. This worked awesome. Look at, look at, look at. I've never had, any time I've ever tried to melt carob, it's never worked this good. So this is awesome. So now comes the fun part. I am going to take and try not to make a mess and try to show you guys how I'm doing this at the same time. And I'm going to scoop a little bit, not a whole lot, a little bit out and put it into this tray. And I'm gonna to try to show you real quick. So just a little bit into the tray, set my spoon back in here. And then I'm gonna take, it's a little dark for you guys to kind of see what's going on. But then I'm gonna take this paintbrush and I'm just gonna like paint up the sides and kind of just coat all the sides of this with a little bit of this carob. You guys see how that's working? It'll work better on the red one. I'll show you on the red one, you'll see it better. Just a little bit. You want it to cover the entire bottom. I might have to add a little bit more. So you want it to cover the entire bottom. Now you're gonna take your paintbrush and we're gonna kinda just paint up the sides. See how as I do this, it sticks to the sides? What this is gonna do is it's gonna make it so when we put our peanut butter filling in here, the filling stays in the middle. And so that is what you need to do. And then I'm gonna continue to do this and fill up a whole bunch of these and then let them get to room temperature before we do the inside. 
All right, so now that I filled a couple of these, I didn't fill them all because I want to do some different colors and things. We have to let them cool, but I'm going to show you guys the next step. The next step is to get some peanut butter. Make sure that your peanut butter does not contain any xylitol. Xylitol is very bad for dogs, so make sure it doesn't contain any xylitol. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to scoop some of this. There's two different ways you can do this. You can scoop some of the peanut butter out, put it in a little dish, and warm it just a little bit. It'll make it a little bit easier to drop into the molds in here. Or you can take like a little spoon and just put little balls of peanut butter in the middle of all of them. That's the next thing we're gonna do. But these dogs are like, peanut butter? We like peanut butter. Would you like peanut butter? By the way, this is actually dog peanut butter, meaning this is the jar that the dogs always get their peanut butter out of. We label the top of the jar as is that good? Is that good? We actually label the top of the jar as dog peanut butter so we know that it's only for them. Would you like some, Miss Princess? Like some? Like some peanut butter? Oh man. I know, I okay. She's like, I didn't want the carob chips, but I like the peanut butter. The peanut butter is good stuff. Memphis apparently got it on her pretty good because she's still licking. <laughs> All right, so I let the carob dry for a little bit, like I said, to about room temperature. You could tell the color of it changed, and then I put peanut butter in all of these, and now I'm going to top them off with some more melted carob. I chose not to heat the peanut butter, and instead I kind of like worked it into almost like a little ball shape in my fingers and then put it in there. That seemed to work, but I think the next round I do, I'm going to heat it up a little bit and use a pastry bag. I think that might work a little bit better. Now this is like, I would take more peanut butter. You had to wait. You have to wait. Sorry, but you have to wait. All right, they're filled up to the top. Now we have to let these, of course, cool to room temperature. Some people will tell you to put them in the fridge, but I've found that when you do that, sometimes it tends to crack. So we're just gonna go ahead and let them sit here and cool. I only had a little tiny bit left. I'm gonna let this cool, and then I can either pop it out of here and chip it up and put it into a bag to be reused or throw it away, whichever you feel like doing sprinkle it over your dog's food, but we're going to go ahead and let these cool. I'm going to make some more colors and uh, show you what it looks like when it's all done. I think these girls are going to be pretty excited. This one's pretty fun. As I said before, if you're looking for more Valentine's themed treat videos for your pets, there will be links up in the cards and down in the video description below. And I also want to one more time say I am not a dog nutritionist. If you don't feel comfortable feeding these things to your animals, please don't feed them to your animals. Call your vet. Ask your vet before you feed them anything that you have any question about. And once again, it's not chocolate. It's carob. It's unsweetened carob to be exact. All right, I got all my colors done. I got the trays filled. Now I'm going to I'm going to actually let these sit probably overnight and finish it up in the morning because it's dark outside. But everything looks pretty good. All right, it is the next day. Are you girls excited? Are you excited? Chubby's like, yes, please give me one immediately, immediately. So check out how cool these turned out. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. So I ended up doing, like I said, and I took this box that had real chocolate in it and I emptied it out and I managed to fit some of the dog candies in it. This would make a really cute gift for somebody. This is this is fun. This turned out really fun. I like this. What do you think? Do you want to try some? You want to try some? As always, you guys, if you make these for your pets, please share your photos with us. Tag us on Instagram at Gone to the Snow Dogs or Twitter at Gone to the number two the Snow Dog. We'd love to see how yours turned out. It's time for these girls to try these treats. All right. <laughs> But they're both like, um, yes, please. Yes, please. Shelby, would you like the carob one? You can have the carob one. Memphis, would you like this one? Oh, my goodness. Filled with peanut butter goodness. What do you think? Wow, Memphis even chewed it. Shelby's like, so the carob ones are a little bit harder than the other ones. Shelby's like, I don't know how I feel about this one. If you don't like it, you can give it to Memphis and she'll eat it. And I'll get you a different one. I didn't know if Shelby would like the carob or not. She really likes peanut butter, so she's like, mm, I'll eat it. It's not so bad. I'll eat it. <laughs> uh, once again, you guys, these are just a treat, not something that they need every single day. Just, Shelby's already going back to the table. She's like, there's more on this table. I'm totally going to get another one of these. Hey, 
You're not allowed to take things off the table. <laughs> All right, you guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I think this was a fun little treat to make. Let's find new adventure Lots of fun, lots of walks, won't you come?